folks, this is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We go five days a week, we go seven hours a day, we go 24 hours a day in the internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. It's a TGIF, folks, and for us market participants, it's a three-day weekend. Don't make assumptions. Ask for what you want. Find the courage to ask for what you want. Others have the right to tell you yes or no, but you always have the right to ask. Likewise, everyone has the right to ask you for what they want, and you have the right to say yes or no. Market-wise, let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrials up 108, NASDAQ down 80, S&P's down 14 and a half. Gold, gold contract up 90 cents, traded 1852 an ounce. You get silver up seven cents, 21 dollars 78 cents an ounce. Light sweet crude down buck 93. $76.56 a barrel, notes and bonds. The 10 year note up four ticks, trading out at 112.01. The 30 year up nine at 125.27. And King Dollar, King Dollar flat, 103.860. Euro 106, yen 134.07. And the British pound at 120 to 1 US dollar. Our phone number is 877 9276648. Give us a call, folks. Want to know what's going on in your world and the world of the S&Ps? Let's take a look at them. What do you have? Well, bottom line, you know, you get a lower market, slightly lower, no big deal. You're going to have a expansion of volume here, so we're going to have, regardless of what happens, you're going to break this swing with volume. The the swing we're talking about is 40501. You hit 40405. You get 59 million shares. You only need 70 million. Yeah, and you're going to have a lot more than that. So that means you're going to be right back down to this level. And see, that's where we went top side from. So what you have here now, the S&P is in the lower range. Anything under 410 is the lower range. And what that sets up, folks, that sets up the lower swing that does have volume also at 374. And the X100, we take a look at the three Qs. What do we have with the three Qs out here? Three Qs right now. You're going to have volume there, too. So the swing on the three Qs has... 50 million, yeah, you're already at 45, man, yeah. So the three Qs, then, now they haven't got inside the lower range yet. The lower range inside the, the Qs, realistically, I'd, I'd be happy with, not happy, meaning, you know, see, there's a couple spikes, like, and I wouldn't use the 296 for the lower range. I'm gonna lose, lose the slow, lower one, which is 293. And right now you're at 301. I suspect it's gonna try to get down there. Now we'll see whether it's gonna get into that lower range. Gold, gold contract, we take a look at the gold contract. Gold contract, 156 million, 156,000 contracts out here today. Um, it's rejected lower price. You're at uh, 1852 right now. And we'll see if we can get any juice going. You know, bottom line, is, and it's gonna be all about this good old US dollar. You go over to the dollar, we take a look at the dollar. What you have with the dollar is they gave it up on price today. You know, we'll see whether basically it comes right back at you. Uh, you know, the, in order to, the dollar right now looks to me still that you're going to go to the 106, 107 level. We got to the 104667 today. That's, that's how this baby is shaking out. Um, oil, we go to the oil market. Oil's giving it up in spades, man. Would you take, you take a look at this oil market out here. You're down hard, 65,000 contracts. Oh, that's not a lot. We're rolling. I see what's happening. Okay, interesting. So let me do this, CLA. Is it gonna give me the same contract? Yeah, we're rolling. Okay, we're rolling, but the bottom line is you're not holding price. So this baby's gonna go right back down to the bottom of the range. The bottom of the range, you know, in this particular case is a, about the 72 to 70 area. We'll see where that's gonna shake out. Some of the higher volume equities, and we will have volume out here today, folks. You have uh, Tesla is up $5. You got uh, DraftKings up two and a half. Uh, let's do it this way. I'm actually going to go into the NDX first. We'll go do the, let's go into the NDX, see what's moving the market. So Amgen is up two and a half percent. Tesla, two and a half. Biogen, 2.5. And Regeneron, 2.4. Taken away from it. Airbnb down five. Fang. What is Fang? Man? Oh, Diamondback. Diamondback Energy. Uh, down five. You got... Uh, Baker Hughes down four and a half. Moderna's down 3.8. Yeah, th these, um, you talk about one of the stocks I picked out today. I was on TD Ameritrade. Um, you know, I picked three trades out there. I was going shot. This uh, Pioneer Natural, man, 
Now, the bottom line is that I send these stocks over to them at 7 o'clock in the morning, folks, okay? This thing gets smoked, man. I mean, it's like in three days, it just went down from a price point from 234. It hit 206 today. I was looking for the 205. <laughs> so I was like, it, it, it looks to me like this thing here is going to go to 200 now. Now, it's dangerous about this. 200 is the swing, but you break 200, you can see this is, this is barreling down, man. This is on the weekly. You can see the expansion of volume. Your swing point down here has 170 million. You've already done, no, no, couldn't be. What? Oh, nine, no, 9.1, and we've done 13. So this thing's gonna go a lot lower, man. That's, that's how that baby is set up right now. The uh, Dow, Dow Industrials inside the Dow. Let's take a look at the strength versus the weakness in here. Point-wise, what we have, United Health putting 70 positive points, Amgen 41, Big Mac 24, Travelers 20. Take it away from it. Microsoft minus 29, Home Depot minus 23. You get uh, Chevron minus 22. We go take a look at, uh, yeah, there's another one. I, I picked this one out too. This is uh, Norfolk Southern. Norfolk Southern, they, bottom line, you know, they got in a big accident. You know what's wild about Norfolk Southern, folks, is this is that even, uh, I've always loved to, when this happens, it's like, okay, it has a high volume low that it wants to go to, meaning the 203. But it's like, even when you're up at highs, I mean, this thing was up at highs at 261, you know, got, got in the accident, it was a trade at uh, 255. This thing is, you know, it's gonna get down to that level. It was, and it was gonna get down to that level prior to the aspect of, look, look, look at the volume on this thing, prior to the aspect. As you can see, this high volume high low that's laying out here at 203. That's always intriguing to me. Like, okay, how technically does that set up that it wants to get down there? Then all of a sudden something happens and then, ba boom, it goes there much faster than you realize that it wants to go there. So pretty, pretty wild. There's no doubt about it. Some of the other higher volume equities out here uh, that we have today. You get Southeast Energies down at 26 bucks. You get uh, Google off a buck and a half. Let's see. What do we got? Devon Energy. Uh, energy's getting getting beaten up here. Stay right there, folks. Come right back.